In South Sudan, cattle are everything. Millions of people rely on these animals for their livelihood. The preferred form of currency is not cash, but cows. Yet with the seasonal movement of these precious beasts to find grazing pastures and water comes problems. Violent clashes between farmers and semi-nomadic cattle keepers and between cattle keepers themselves competing for scarce water and grazing resources have become more frequent. David Ashik Macha, a cattle owner from Tali, says that before the war the land belonged to everyone, but now things have changed. Sometimes we get to the host community. Our cows eat the greens of the farmers not knowing that these are for humans. It causes many problems and we are forced to pay a heavy fine, usually a cow or two. The farmers also slaughter our cattle as revenge. The civil war has exacerbated the problem by disrupting traditional cattle migration routes and patterns. The United Nations mission in South Sudan facilitated an interstate pre-migration conference in Tali, a small pastoral village some 200 kilometers north of the capital Juba, where local authorities, cattle owners and farmers from the five neighboring regions of Tarakaka, Amadi, Gok, Eastern and Western Lakes met to reach an agreement that regulates cattle migration to prevent conflict, identifies water resources and grazing lands, and sets out compensation rules for the destruction of crops and beehives by cattle, as well as theft or killings of livestock. State governors from the region formally handed over the authority to settle disputes between cattle owners and farmers to a recently formed Joint Border Peace Committee. A member of the committee says that a growing concern is the increasing number of small arms owned by cattle keepers. It's only the cattle keepers who are having arms and uh, uh, making the, the farmers afraid of them. But uh, for the farmers, they are the losers because whenever these uh, cattle comes come to the areas and destroy their crops, so they also harass them with their arms, so they cannot say anything. The ongoing civil war has contributed to the proliferation of arms, leading to local authorities trying to disarm civilians. The way I'm seeing them understanding, maybe sooner or later they will understand more and then they will start to drop arms because they know now that they are just destroying themselves alone with their arms. David hopes for the best but has doubts about the effectiveness of the ongoing disarmament process. They collect the arms but you still see those arms making their way back into the hands of some cattle keepers and you wonder why. He believes that collecting arms from civilians will not stop all violence related to cattle migration, but it will help reduce the number and severity of clashes. The annual migration of livestock during the dry season remains an integral part of the South Sudanese social fabric. It is hoped that the guns will slowly leave the hands of civilians and that peace will return to these communities. <laughs>